Hi, it's Steve. In this video, we'll talk about some of the main reasons why your top load washer doesn't spin. We'll describe some of the typical drive systems used in top load washers today, and we'll also identify some of the components that may cause that symptom, where they are located, and how to test them. Now, there are three main types of washer drive systems used today for top load washers. The standard belt drive system uses a motor that turns a belt which drives a pulley on a transmission that will either cause the washer to agitate or to spin. Another common type is a direct drive style of washer where the motor is coupled to the transmission through a rubber coupler. Thirdly, there is also another style of direct drive washer where an actual stator of the motor is attached to the outer tub and the rotor of that motor is attached to the inner basket. Helping identify what style of washer you have will also help to diagnose where the problem may lie in a no-spin condition. Now one of the first things that we might suspect to cause a top load washer to not spin would be the lid switch. Depending on the model, some washers will actually fill and perhaps agitate even though they have a defective lid switch. Although that is not normally the case, it is possible. In a case where the lid switch fails, the washer will definitely not spin. So it's easy to check a lid switch using a multimeter. We simply need to disconnect power to the washer, identify where the switch is located, disconnect the leads to it, and test it with a multimeter. Some newer styles of washers actually use a lid lock switch. This style of washer requires that the lid be locked so that it cannot be opened during the spin cycle. If it detects that that lid is not locked, it will not spin. Now if you have a direct drive style of washer that uses a motor coupler, that could be the culprit for a no spin condition. The motor coupler consists of three pieces, two drive cams that are made out of a really hard plastic and a rubber cushion in between them. As the motor turns one of the plastic drive cams, the rubber coupler transfers that power to the second plastic drive cam which is attached to the transmission. During the agitation cycle, a defective motor coupler may still allow the agitator to turn depending on your load size. However, when it comes to the spin cycle, a defective motor coupler will typically create a loud noise and start slipping and therefore not transfer that power to the basket drive and the washer won't spin. To access that motor coupler, we would first of all need to remove the pump clips and the pump, the motor clips and then the motor, and then we can access that coupler. Now this is typically the portion of that motor coupler that will fail. These teardrop shaped holes will become enlarged and will start to slip on the drive lugs that are either attached to the motor or to the input of the transmission. We simply need to pry off the drive lugs from both the transmission input and the motor shaft install the new ones along with the new rubber coupler. Another component that may cause your top load washer to not spin would be the clutch. Some models use an external mounted clutch. It basically has some spring tension on it and some pads that will grab an outer metal surface. If those pads are worn or the spring is broken, that clutch may not engage and not cause the basket drive to turn the tub in a spin direction or may allow it to slip and not spin up to speed. Other models of top load washers may use an internal clutch inside of the transmission which is a little more difficult to access. However, if the clutch has failed, it will need to be replaced. Now with belt drive washers, one of the most common causes for a no spin condition is a worn drive belt. A worn drive belt may still work in the agitation mode, but may slip excessively during the spin cycle. Now on a typical belt drive top load washer, we will have a transmission pulley, a motor pulley, and a pump pulley. Some models will use two different belts, one for just the pump, and others will use a belt to control both the pump and the transmission. What we want to check for is a really shiny belt or a belt that is, shows signs of having been overheated and burned. We'll also look at the pulley and make sure that it is in good shape. Check for signs of any oil or residue that may cause that belt to slip. 
both the motor pulley, the drive pulley, and the pump pulley. Clean up any residual oil or lubricants on those pulleys or replace them and replace the belt as well. Some modern washers now will use a shifter mechanism to change between the agitation mode and the spin mode. If that shifter mechanism fails, it won't shift out of the agitation mode and your washer will not spin. You would look for a mechanical defect with that shifter mechanism or test the motor for continuity using a multimeter as well as verifying that the connections to that shifter mechanism are in good shape. Now this modern belt styled top load washer uses a shifter mechanism to change between agitation and spin modes. A small electric motor on that shift mechanism when it's energized will rotate a cam which moves this lever and that lever will pull a mechanism beneath this pulley to change it from the agitation mode into the spin mode. So if the motor is not working properly or has no continuity, it will not operate that cam and won't shift from agitation into spin or vice versa. The mechanism is held to the housing with two screws and a single wire harness. If the shifter mechanism is defective, you will need to replace it. Thank you so much for watching this video. We do hope that it was helpful to you. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.